Hi, it's Dr. Doug Curtis. And Lucy Curtis from Dyslexic and Unstoppable. Our mission is to help dyslexics rediscover their inner power. That's right. Uh, today we have a, um, a video that came from a conversation that you had with Felix Alexander, our son. Um, so why don't you start sure. with that? Uh, this morning we were, I was uh, driving them to sailing lessons and Felix Alexander started asking me about um, if, if ever he was um, like somebody had said something about that he needed to do summer school or mm -hmm. something like that. And I wasn't sure where it came from, but the, we started talking about it and I said, no. Mm -hmm. And then I started explaining, it was like, well, who goes to summer school and what do they, why do they go to summer school and things like that. And I said, well, you know, if one, one example is if you were sick, like sick or something for a month or something mm -hmm. like that, you have to catch up. Or um, if you had a difficulty during the year and they don't necessarily want you to, to repeat the grade, um, then they'll make you do summer school to get to catch up to go to the next grade. Uh, and, and then he started talking about, you know, like, well, what's, you know, he was trying to figure out what it all meant and where, like, I could see his brain going like, well, what about me? What about me? When I was at, when I was having trouble, and I started explaining that, you know, when he was having trouble in first grade, like it was May, right? May of first grade, when they said, wow, he's super smart. He's he's, you know, really 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 brilliant, but he's uh, behind on in his reading, mm -hmm. and uh, they were questioning, uh, holding him back, and. For us, it was like, wait a minute, we questioned it right away because those two things don't go together, you know, like, uh, so for us, the first, the, our first response is not, oh, sure, right. let's do that, it's why, right. why, 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 you know, and, and looking into it, and, um, yeah, and for, for myself, actually, I, I see this a lot now because as a pediatrician right now in the summer, we're doing a lot of um, physicals, and, um, you know, I see a lot of uh, kids and mostly we talk about their camps and the things they're doing and, and that kind of stuff. But every once in a while there's a child who's in uh, summer school. And something you brought up very uh, big, like a big uh, point for in insight for me was how many of these kids actually have dyslexia and um, just need some extra help in, in helping them decode the words and that kind of stuff. So how could a parent mm -hmm. try to figure out whether it is just a child who, well, I mean, obviously if your child was sick for a month and needs to just make up some work, then that's, that's easy. Mm -hmm. But if, if it's more, uh, they, they went through the year, they had difficulty, the school suggested summer school, but they think there's something else going on, like what kind of clues do you think? Would, well, would first of all, is, is um, you have to look at the whole year, right? Was it just reading? Mm -hmm. Was it writing? Mm -hmm. Was it speech? Was there multiple things going on, right? Mm -hmm. And the second thing is, are they progressing? Right. Right? right. If, if they're not progressing in summer school, or if they had services during this, the year, even if they had services during the year, and they didn't progress, they progressed a little bit, like right. I see that a lot. Like, kind of like progressed, but the report card shows otherwise. Right, right. You know, the, the, it, it kind of, oh yeah, it's much better, but not really, because the report card is, and, and I see that, or it's bad. Like, right. I, I know somebody who's, Oh yeah, we've had these services, but look at my 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 child's report card. I'm mm -hmm. like, well, okay, you need to get more than this, right? right? But so you either you had services or not during this the year, right? Mm -hmm. And then in the summer you do you're going through all these classes and there's no improvement, or your child is struggling with the reading so much, mm -hmm. then you need to question it because right. if I if we had put Felix Alexander, let's say we. We 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 weren't pig-headed like we are, <laughs> and we would have we and me would have said, okay, we'll just do this this um, summer school and and not even go anywhere else. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have progressed. No, he and, wouldn't have progressed at all because they don't teach you the way a dyslexic needs to learn. Right. So it wouldn't have done anything for him. Mm, no, exactly, and and I you know I see that in um, kids that I um, see in my practice too, where. Um, you know, if, if you have a child who's across many areas having difficulty and just needs to catch up, they're just a little bit behind, and that's a different story. But the child who has this specific area, it's every time reading comes up, it's every time writing comes up, mm -hmm. it's when spelling comes up. 
then you need to investigate it further. And I think, you know, maybe we're, what, beginning of July now, at this point, you know, you go through the summer school, but at the same time, you know, tell the school, well, I need to get them tested for dyslexia. Um, look for resources outside that, you know, um, uh, look at the alphabet test that we um, mm -hmm. talk about on our, mm -hmm. on our website. But other ways of trying to figure out, um, is there something else going on? Because if there's something else going on and there's a specific exactly. learning disability, then they need, or learning the problem, they need to be helping that child with that problem. Yeah, and, and, and it could take, if, if there's no uh, progression, there's not, there's not like an improvement is mm -hmm. what I'm looking for, then your child is uh, falling behind mm -hmm. and, it, and it gets, uh, uh, you know, their, their self-esteem and all these, that's, that's, that's the big thing about us. The whole point of, of our books and, and uh, I say books because we're working on two other ones, so, um, is, is it keeping them empowered because they're, they're smart, dyslexic, are right. smart, 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 so we don't want them to lose that. Right. But if, if, if you keep, you know, if, if you need to go with your gut, we, first thing we go is my guts in, instincts is drives me. So right. that's why I was like, okay, this doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right. Let's investigate. Let's investigate. So, but if, if you're not, if you're not feeling that the classes or the tutoring or the, these things are not helping you, it needs to be a red flag, right. big, big red flag that this is not it. This is because really dyslexics, like I said to Felix Alexander, if you would have gone to these classes, it wouldn't have helped you. Reading. We went to regular reading classes. It didn't help at all. Mm -hmm. You know, like minimal, minimal, because right. it didn't address the issue. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. and I think you said something else great is is the the whole thing with the self esteem. They start out with great self esteem, and then these little issues um, mm -hmm. take away. That's you know what, where Sparky came up and our and our whole thing of rediscovering your inner power because it's there. The kids have it. They they are smart. They know. Um, they have that inner power, mm. and we're just here to help you know, rediscover it. Mm. Um, anyway, so think about it. You know, you know, for this year, for next year, if your child's having issues and they're talking about repeating or um, summer school, um, you know, think could it possibly be dyslexia? Um, mm. And of course, leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think, and visit us at uh, dyslexicandunstoppable.com. Thank you. Thanks.